this video, we will see how to record output from the Shop Floor Insight application. On screen, we can see a production order operation. At the top of the screen, we've got the toolbar. On the right hand side, we've got the inventory section with the output button. Because I want to record output, I will now click on this button. This displays us information coming from the production order and also the operation. We can see here we've got a total quantity of seven. At this point, I wish to record an output of three. I will enter three in the output field and I will click on register. This gives me a pop-up asking me to confirm. I say yes. Let's have a look at what this has done in Business Central. Now, I should probably mention that nothing yet has been posted in the capacity ledger entry. That is until the output journal entry has been posted. Now we are currently on a different pressure order, not this one. Let's have a look at the output journal. Here we see the entry that we have just created from the shop floor inside application. We can see the production order number along with the operation, the item number. And we also have some information coming from the shop floor inside application, such as the employee number, the units per snapshot, uh, other, other fields here as well, including the output quantity. At this point here, a supervisor could review this entry modify if need be and post this entry in order to record or to record the entry to post the entry i will do so i will now go back to my capacity ledger, ledger entry and we now see an entry here for the production order 10 10 0, 5. Worth noting, we've got the time card number and we also have a, an output recorded date time. Let's go back to the shop floor inside application. At this point here, I would now like to record my the remaining quantity here for this production order. I now click on the output button. We can now see that the production order finished field has been updated to three. I would like to record the rest. So I will enter the quantity of four, click on register. Back in Business Central, the output journal will now have a new entry for the recorded output quantity of four. If we have a quick look at the capacity ledger entry, we now see the secondary entry here that was created for this production order. And this does give us full traceability uh, in regards to what took place on the full floor. We've got the time card information, we've got the employee information, along with the date time. Period. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.